information, O'Brien. What the hell can you possibly have left to say? Hi. That I would give a damn about. Hi. This is Radio Free Oh. Nope. <laughs> truth shall send you. Cup, 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 shut the hell up. <laughs> right. Hi. Welcome. I'm vague. My, me vagrant. Um, we do mission. Yes, we do ride up to meet O'Brien. Let's do it. So, in the last video, lots of videos, lots of stuff. We took down the Ripper camp. Big deal. Peek. You there? I crafted you a couple of items if you want to swim by. Ah. Oh, Boozer, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I need some deacon out. There's always three of them. There's always three of them. Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, uh, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. New job. Yeah, meat. Yeah, meat. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Anyways. So, yeah, and now uh, we, we had the whole thing about the clearance level for our missus, and now um, we're going to go meet O'Brien, because he has something to show us, apparently. Being the coy little flirt that he is on the phone. Oh, that was lucky. I had to itch my forehead, and I really thought I was going to slam into that car. I did not slam into the car. It's been a good start to the video. High five all around, everyone. You better be high five of each other. If any of you are in the room... With other people. I would find that slightly odd. <laughs> but if you are, I expect high fives. Okay. Deer crossing. Ah, uh, something's never changed. But I want the deer. There we go. God damn it. I didn't die. I didn't die. Eh, come here. Come here. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna be absolutely. S no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to be absolutely stuck to the nines at that next camp, if it exists. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. Oh, you cheeky little... Oh. Now, think about what you've done. Oh, wait. Did I have a skill point? I swear I must have leveled up. Yes. Yeah, I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm a smart boy. Um... <laughs> I do want the reload one. I do want that. So both of those are okay. Meh. Meh. What, what have we got in survival? They're all a bit iffy, aren't they? That one's not bad. <sighs> I do want stamina regen. And I think I probably want that one. That one's... How is that a tier 4? That's pointless. Melee. Does melee have anything good? Generate stamina for every melee kill. Hmm, tempting. Uh, let's start going down. Oh, I don't know. Eh. Eh. I do want Executioner. I do want Home Run. Eh. Eh. I do want that as well. Do we want that? Hmm. I'm just trying to think what, what gives me the hardest time. And at the moment, it's hordes. So I should gear for hordes. And I think projectile... I think penetration is really good for that, right? Yeah, that's got to be good for hordes, surely. I always do this. I always gear about around what I think is the hardest part of the game, basically. I think that's the smartest thing to do, right? Because generally speaking, you know... Then again, my concern about that, of course, is that um, there are... Yeah. Many zombie types were yet to discover, right? So they could well throw something much scarier at me. And maybe I need to melee that a bit more, blah, blah, blah. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. That's an idea. But yeah, if there is another camp, oh boy, it's going to be like whew, 700 trust or something. I guarantee when we get there, it will be an insanely disappointing amount of bounty. It really will. Maybe a thousand at a push. I would be surprised if it's that much. But I'm ready for the pain, and that makes it okay. Get low, motherfucker. What's this? That needs help. I got you. 
No worries, bucko. No worries. Alright. You can wait your bloody turn, I'll tell you that much. Alright, there you go. I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Camp? Camp? Yeah, yeah. Where? Sh show me. Where? I I'll go. I'll go. Iron Mike's, of course. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, man, I... I was done for. Holy shit. You know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know who I am. Keep they know who I am. Run. It just makes more sense. None of the other two make any sense, because there's nothing I want there, right? Iron Mike's is the only one that makes any sense. I guess if you were doing this earlier in the game, you'd have more of a choice to make, but I didn't see them earlier in the game, so didn't have a choice to make. Where am I going? Back to the old? Help me! Help me! Oh, you, you, you kids are all over the place, aren't you? All right, I got you. Calm down. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alright, calm down. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Yeah, sh camp? What, what camp? Show me. Where? Uh, okay. <laughs> Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Don't well, ironically, just keep out of sight. the equivalent of like five story missions. <laughs> like, genuinely, like five or so story missions right there. Doesn't look too bad. In terms of the amount of rep that I just got. Maybe I will get to the tier three of Iron Mike's just because of those two. Honestly, that's a big push in the right direction. This is Radio Free Oregon. Yeah, no, it bloody ain't. Just don't yeah, find it particularly interesting hurt. to listen to, you know. Ooh, oh, this is fun though. <laughs> Preserve some fuel. Oh, actually, while we're here, I did have a mission nearby. Yeah, we'll go pick up. The, the job while we're here. Why not? Don't mind taking out the marauder camps after all. Ah, oh, yeah, no fuel necessary. Wait, what's going on? So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Oops. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials. And well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Her wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago, local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. It's rather ominous message for the future, isn't it? So why is the National Emergency Response Organization a swan or a goose or something? Boozer, booze man, come back. Yeah, Deke. Hey, listen. Give me a minute. Checking what's going on. 
uh, right south to find Sarah. Is that what we're doing? Oh, we're going back to... Wait, where is this? Okay, Just whatever. To me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. But the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dang. Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles. So there was a... The trail that went around Mount Thiels. Thiels, I don't know, something. Thielsen, Thielsen, yeah, that's it. Thielsen, pass. Yeah, why the hell you... Wait. Shit. You, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Nick? Hey, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Loser, he found her ID badge. Yeah, loser, uh... I, I think that she's alive. D. You never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well... I gotta find her. Oh, God damn it. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help with up. Uh, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Who's around? Okay, okay. See you, booze man. We can point out the <laughs> three different times now of like, oh my love, my wife, where is she? And then she's she's at an encampment. Oh, but the encampment got overrun, so we had to move her. Deacon, where are you? Three times. Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? I'm coming back. What, what do you What do you mean? Boozer told us. What, in the last two seconds. Okay, look, there's nothing to tell. Oh. There's no way over the city pass, you know that. How did Booza tell you? I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out. It happened about two seconds ago. She would have, oh also I wanna point out how nice that snow effect was as I parked as I as I broke on the bike. Oh, sexy. Right, let's see what the old man's got to say. Mike, Mikey, you're all friends here. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Right. Um. Wait. Proper locked out. Of this whole area. Do I ever get to come back? Uh. Well, that's a little scary. I guess we're going down here, right? Yeah. That's the Santium Tunnel. Okay. Let me just check. I don't. I don't want story spoilers. I just want to know: <laughs> Can I come back later? Uh, days gone. Can you return north? Oh, I think you can, but only after the main story's done, like in a in a post game kind of thing. Um, I mean, I have done everything essentially. I haven't done that, but that's that's only on seventy eight percent. Where's that? Miles away, isn't it? It's there. Eh, it's not that far away. I can teleport absolutely nowhere. I, I'm not seeing any great reason to stick around. I guess. I can stick around doing all like, the bounty missions and stuff like that, but I mean, I can do those post-game anyway, as we've said, and they don't... Now that I know we can go south, that definitely implies there's at least one more camp down there, right? So I don't necessarily need to worry too much about that kind of thing anyway. Buzz, how's a camper's life? They can never go wrong with a tuna. Why aren't you called Banny? <laughs> hey, Ricky, what's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take him out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he, if he can use a gun. Then what the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. Might as well pick up the mission. Um, I think we're just gonna go. I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna... 
Yeah. I'm not too bothered about all that stuff. Um, all right. Let's head south. I thought I had to clear that horde. That's why I got told that it was mandatory. Do we have to do it to get south? I can't imagine why we would. Hmm, very suspicious. Right, let's, uh, I'm gonna, I was gonna save it, but, well, that ship sailed. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. I am burning up, ladies and gentlemen. It is bloody hot. I am a hot tamale right now. And I'm always hot tamale, so, you know, I'm like a super hot tamale. I'm like a tamale dipped in a larger tamale. <laughs> It's tamales all the way down. It's like a Russian nesting doll. But made out of tamales. I do love a tamale though. You know a way over the Tielsen Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've what about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, on. the things that you, you get out of here. You listen, me, listen, me. listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promise me you don't come back. I got you. I kind of get why Mike's annoyed, but... Oh, shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. But, oh, are we losing, leaving Boozer behind? Well, there's nothing for me to buy or upgrade, is there? Um, I don't think so, anyway. Um, I mean, we are leaving this place in substantially better nick than when we first got here. The Rippers are gone, and you've got electricity. Like, what are you complaining about? I made that happen. Old man. All right, Bucko. Sounds like there's some kind of militia down there. They're taking the fight to the goddamn freakers. Well, we're up here pissing our pants about a bunch of rippers. Oh, we're leaving Boozer. I think we're leaving Boozer behind. Meeting with Boozer will advance the story. Locking you out of Lost Lake as you ride south with Iron Mike. Make sure you take the time to turn in any less bounties. No. Or visit any vendors. Oh. Wait, I wonder if they won't take... Maybe there isn't a camp down south and they're not going to take my bounties. Maybe it's not a camp. Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's just a, a story segment, I guess, in and of itself. You know, kind of like... It's the final... It can't be the final bit of the story. It can't. I'm only 20-something hours in. I'm expecting double the length. I don't know, I'm confused. Um, I mean, I, if I turn in all my bounties, I'm not going to get anything anyway. So if I miss out, like, it's not going to take me to the next rep level is what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm okay to take that risk. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh -huh. huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We're watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. Bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. What belongs to them now? We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road, where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors, 
All this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, have it, I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. I said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep. I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, look yeah, at me. Sure, Mike, whatever you say. I look completely different, actually, in a way. Where did I get this jacket from? <laughs> That's about two seconds ago. Oh, man. It's kind of sad, isn't it? It's a weird time. We're leaving all this behind. Booze has gone. The dog's gone. I'm hoping that when we come back later on, the dog has grown up. That would make me very happy. Hey. Your big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Now, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us campers? Yeah? You go and you find your woman. You know where to find me. And you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. A little bit of scorned lovers of the whole situation, isn't there, really? You ready? Yeah. I want to get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Let's roll out, biker boys. Come on. This way. Okay, I'm following you. It's funny because we clearly have a radio, right? And because their voice always comes through the radio. My voice, however, Deacon just yells into the air, essentially. Maybe he doesn't understand that radios are a two way thing. It's one of the beautiful things about a radio, actually. So it kind of works both ways. I know, radio mic, anyway. Hey, that's Mike. Ah, oh, God, that's funny stuff. Right, okay. Oh, God damn it, Mike. Learn to turn your bike, Mike. Took Jack out fishing once. Before, you know. No oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. Dude is a slow like rider. Now you ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. But I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. 
pretty sure we're going to see all these new types of zombies in the south as well. There must be tons of game left. There must be some camps. There must be. It doesn't make any sense to me if there's no camp in the south. You know how many tourists we used to get through here come summer? I will be vindicated. I'm telling you. A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. Like a trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here. Non stop. Listen, Mike. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. Nothing wrong with a Hawaiian shirt, okay? They're back in style. I'm just saying they are. It's it's a fact, okay? <laughs> you can get a nice modern Hawaiian shirt. I've got a couple. I'm going to Disney. God, I'm going to Disney on Sunday. Good, six days away. Um, guess by the time you guys see this, I'm back from Disney. Oh, it was lovely. I had a great time. But I, I got a couple of Hawaiian shirts, but they're like, cool. <laughs> In that they're not super bright and colourful, I suppose. And that's what makes them cool, but that's never here nor there. I don't know if I need to accelerate to keep up with Mike, quite frankly. You can use the help. I don't have a choice, Mike. Fair enough. Come on, just follow me. I'm not sure I buy this you can't <laughs> yeah, come back okay. thing, if I'm totally honest. I mean, surely I could come back and go to the other two camps, right? Like, I Mike can't shut me out of the north. <laughs> He's not bloody... <laughs> I don't know, he's not a, he's not a, uh, what are they called? He's not a Stark, is he? He's a Bambi from the entirety of the North. Yeah, love that. That's great. I'm trying to figure out why the game would want you to do this. Why the game would not want you to be able to come back. I can't really think of a justifiable reason quite yet. I'm thinking about it. Pacing issues, I guess? Just to try and make it feel like distinct parts of the game. Whoa, this place is proper snowed in. Where are we off, Mikey boy? Where are we off? This is it. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. Because what does it matter if everyone else is dead? Does, wait, what? Why did that matter? What? Why would everyone else be dead? Because I'm leaving the camp behind? But if you can't run your bloody camp without me for like five minutes, then you were doomed from the start, alright? It's not on me. Mind your own bloody camp, Mike. Oh, I'll shut up now. It's music time. Mayday! Mayday! Captain Corey? You there? Come in! Mayday! No one's listening. Damn it! Try again! 
Oh, wait, right, Russell. Mullins. It's Muffins! <laughs> Muffins is back! Kill the Rager. Whoa! Large bear, large bear, large bear, large bear. Uh, Molotov. Big Sarah Bear, Big Sarah Bear, Big Sarah Bear, Big Sarah Bear, oh god. X! X! Get off me! Right. Stay true to the plan. Let's go, Bear. Explosive barrel. Explosive barrel. <laughs> Whew. Big scary bear. Rager. That's a new thing. Wait, I got an ear from that. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's one of the missing... Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> spooky. <laughs> Maybe there's more infected animals up here. Maybe that's what a lot of the uh, missing zombies were. Maybe I just can't trade in my crappy ears while I'm here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, 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 okay. Go on. Hey, okay, okay. all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, it, well, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him. Uh, Jesus. You stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you got to. You'll be fine. Okay? Following you. See you later, muffins. So yeah, there is a camp. So my theory is that maybe you, you can't use the old okay? stuff while you're here. Some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. A patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Okay, got it. So uh, the shoots county militia. Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern, fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. I, it's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh... Do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is a very this different is vibe, isn't it? Oh, it's Lost Lake, I miss you already. <laughs> oh, Lost Lake was so pretty. <laughs> this is not pretty. Oh, well. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with the body. 
That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Why, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down, yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long have you been drifting? Hard One, to say. Two, uh, one, you lose track two, of time out there, the you know. Moving sergeant. Yes, sergeant. Yes, sergeant. Uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh... Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Go, go, go! You gotta move your ass! You think you're gonna outrun the freaks? Hell no, you're not! Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Okay. Can I move at a speed? <laughs> hmm. He doesn't look like militia. Okay, first things first, kitchen. Hello, kitchen. <gasps> I can't turn everything in. The game was trying to trick me. Bloody knew it. I bloody knew it. Right, I don't want to do that yet, though. I want to see... Mechanic? Lucas? The name is Lanny. <laughs> right. Okay, just level two for engine. Oh, baby. Oh, weight reduction as well. Nothing there. Uh, Yet another saddlebag, bloody Nora. If, if you got credits. Oh boy. Yeah, thanks. Oh baby, that's like a double capacity tank. What? Oh whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, that's so tempting. I mean, it's full capacity. It's like it's 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 equal with that one. It's only level two, so we we're, we're not skipping forward much by getting it right. Do I want the tank with the little baby in it? I think I do want the tank with the little baby in it. I'm just going to say that. Not quite max durability on that, so there must be more out there. Oh, it's getting very close though, isn't it? Better nitrous. I want I want more boost though. I don't want durability. Better tires. Well, okay, when you're ready. Water damage reduction. You know what, it's cheap, let's grab it. All right, then. And let's check in with the guns. Hello. Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergy. Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just Bergy. got here. Right, well, so... Deacon St. John, you do your job, and we'll get along just fine. Quite clearly. Um... Yes, okay, I, I have a theory. This is a two-camp setup. 
kind of like the first two camps from um from uh you know from the start of the game we've not lost like copeland's camp and tucker's camp where one has bike stuff and one has gun stuff and this is clearly the bike camp now i'm going to go ahead and assume these i, I think i'm pretty right on that i think i think that's a smart take so that would suggest the other camp has all the guns now usually i'd favor the bike one but at this point in the game i feel like i'd favor the other one so i'm kind of tempted to hang on to my bounties let's have a little look here right uh Hey, I, I gotta ask, you, uh, well, you seem a long way from home out here. What's a runner? I was studying theater at the community college here. Go fighting Pratipus, yes? I am, I was an exchange student from Yokohama in Japan. I kind of figured that. Yes. Anyway, as you say, a long way from home. Oh, goodbye to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Didn't have to... Dip at the end that right. Let's have a look, look here on the map. Is it a new map? No. But I'm all this. It has open. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> it's actually gigantic. This entire southern. Uh, this 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 boundary here basically is all opened up to me. It's a whole new world, ladies and gentlemen. Whole new world. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna hold on to my stuff yet again. Because, uh, I've seen that makes more sense. Because I think guns are now more important. If it's the final Why camp, right? If it's Why the final gun camp. There might be three. It Why could be the same as it was in the north. Uncle? But I'm assuming that there has to be at least one gun camp here, right? So maybe there's one like this. So this would be the equivalent of the Copeland camp, which is just bikes. And then maybe we find like a Tucker equivalent. And then maybe there's a Lost Lake equivalent as well. But either way... These are end-game guns, so they're more worth pointing the points into, surely, than the bike. Except maybe the except maybe the fuel tank, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. I want the baby. <laughs> I really want the baby. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John. Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. <laughs> you see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone okay. that look like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. <laughs> Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? She's probably not gonna be here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Check this one. Nope, not here. I like you, Wade. Wade is now my favorite character in the entire game. Memory. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? God damn it, she's not here either. Didn't they say that the the camp where she was though was taken over by militia, like attacked by militia? Is the implication that I got? I don't know. Suspicious. Go, go, go. It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, are you in here? Shit, not here. God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? Of course not. St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. All right. Away. Find a wall, man. You're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. You wait till there's a baby on it, Buster. Open it up! What I figure is we can get a lot of the upgrades without having to turn in the bounties anyway. I only need rep level 2 for most of them. And we don't need any for the baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? 
How would he survive? I assume that's about Wade? Because he doesn't seem like the kind who would thrive in a zombie apocalypse, does he? He's a nice, I, I like him, but he does not seem like a zombie apocalypse kind of guy. What back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, <laughs> but the stumps are charred. So that means, that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. What? Makes sense. You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep. You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground. We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in this shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. Plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is cool. It. It's Mullins. Wait, no, it's Muffins. Hey, Corporal, the captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right, you two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab uh, Taylor. Was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir. Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Got it. It's impressed, isn't it? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. I'm gonna make myself seem stupid here if I'm wrong, but he just had a pop at him about military time, and he said, "I'll be there." in 1800 hours, which is six o'clock in military time, sure, or a 24 hour clock, basically. Need scrap. But it doesn't make sense. You can't be there in 16, in 1800 hours. You are there at 1800 hours. You can't be there in 1800 hours, or you could be, but that would be stupid. Let's pick up a squeaky toy. You know what I mean? You, uh, <clears throat> you said you stole rations, ammo? Yes. <sighs> this is an MRE. Half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What would you find? I don't... The fence has been cut. I don't remember any discussion about this Vasquez guy, by the way. <laughs> I feel like we've started tracking him with no prior Rest. indication so that he existed. Least... Yeah, come on, this way. Let's mention that we were tracking something. That was basically it, right? Am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Could be though. You never know for sure, do you? Hey, hold on for a second. Look over here. Tracks? Ah, uh, yeah. We're in luck. <sighs> this way. Oh, <laughs> it's actually the footprints. <laughs> it just happens to be right next wait, to the wait, feces. Wait, hold up. You find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever worked for you? Yelling at a wolf? Look out, more wolves! I see him. Oh, it's full. <laughs> Cut the map. Come <laughs> on. 
Right, I hit that enough to bloody kill it, I'm telling you. <laughs> they just wanted me to... One day. One day. <laughs> One day I'll learn how to do that. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. I think what you do is you hold it and then let go, I think. But I honestly don't know. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. I'll leave it to do, Bucko. You guys got a lot of wolves out here. The ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. I like your coat. It's one thing I think this game is missing. I guess I go in two minds about this. About sort of changing the look of your character via armor. Like in a way it's nice to have that personality personality and the personalization and the customization and stuff like that. And also it's more things to collect, which I think is always a good thing for a game to have, in a way, to an extent, not too far, but this game doesn't have that much in that regard at all. On the other hand, by wearing the same consistent clothing, it tends to impart, you know, a more consistent personality in your character, right? Why is that squeaky noise? Are you alive? Don't be alive. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Impressed with my skills. You can introduce me to Daddy. I think he is. Wait, oh. down. Swarm. Oh my god. <laughs> Explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. I could take that on. No worries. No worries. Say, John, this way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, we're getting tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, he kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? I mean, what are you here for? I thought that's what the war was, to kill freaks. Okay. Do some war against. Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, just in this part of the state alone. Got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. Ooh, ooh, I'm vibrating. Always fun. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Oh, well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you people. The colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't... Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, ah. it's coming from the logging camp over there. This is the, this is a different logging camp. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? 
Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. I suspect there will be a horde here at some point. I'm not going to shoot anyone yet. It's very sad. Oh, oh, I need a break after this, I tell you. I ate too much yogurt. <laughs> Two of them. It's not me for six. It's like some vehicles have working car alarms. When's the last time we had a car alarm go off? 15 hours? 10 hours? Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss. Oh, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Giving me an order. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> got it. Ah, oh, goddamn. That's a woman. How are you okay with this? Sit down. Oh, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. This extra ammo for the guns is incredible. It really is. Again, woman, not cool. You tell him. You'll be fine. Let me do my thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that'll always have to save me. That's for the job, done it, kids. Oh, someone's got a big gun. <laughs> Why is the building on fire? Ah! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing in here? Jesus Christ. Oh, gee. <laughs> Just... Okay. Alright. I miss the other sniper rifle already. I really do. That extra level of zoom was a big deal, honestly. It really was. Very sad that I don't have it. Whoa, hello, kids. Actually, top right. If there's one reason, as I've kind of alluded to before, to focus on the guns more than anything else, is so we get a new pistol. Right? Okay. Absolutely top here. priority. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him. He won't know what hit him. Huh. Yeah, this is it. I Big boy shotgun. Open the door. Oh, god damn, girl. Fair play. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. I can see that. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <laughs> Fair play. I mean.
Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Very, very done. Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Well, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. So, oh. you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> Clearly just finds the entire military concept in this situation so to be pretty ridiculous. As do I. Right, we shall end it there. Thank you very much for joining me, my lovely ladies and gentlemen. You all understood that, right? Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.